In the previous video, we saw how a Parvi can be easily configured to extract search results data for a single search term. So in this video, we will see how we can modify the configuration process so that a Parvi is able to get data after submitting a list of keywords in a search form instead of a single search item. So let's follow an example. A previous one we are using the same yellow pages example so the first step is to load the page which contains the search form so once you have loaded the search uh, page within web Harvey's internal browser the next step to do is to click and put the cursor on the search box so let's click on the search box and once you have placed the cursor within the search box go to the actions menu and within the actions menu under keywords panel there is an option named input a list of keywords click on this link or option here and webharvey will play a keyword input window where you can type in the various keywords for which you need to extract data now you should uh, type in these keywords one per line or separate them using commas if you need to include commas within keywords then the keyword should be enclosed within quotation marks you can also import these keywords from an external file which has the same format as this uh, edit text here which i just explained you can click on this file to import uh, the keyword list from a file if required so right now let's type in the keywords here let's assume we need to search and extract data for plumbers doctors and lawyers so I have typed uh, each of these keywords in a separate line and then click the OK button. Now as you can see, WebHarvey has automatically filled the first keyword in the search box automatically. Now you should not change this. In some websites, due to the implementation specifics of the website, the first keyword may not be automatically filled. In such cases, you need to type in or paste the first keyword exactly as it is manually in the search box. Now, I have configured multiple keywords for the search box. Now, WebRV supports a keyword list for multiple input controls. So, for example, you can also provide multiple keywords for the location. For that, place the keyword on uh, the location box. You can select input a list of keywords from under actions menu under keywords panel. Click on it and type in the locations for which you need to search. So let's say London, Cambridge, Shire. Okay, so I have uh, typed in a few location keywords and I click the OK button and WebRV automatically again fills the first keyword in the search box. Now the idea is that WebRV during mining will extract data for the search keywords for each of these locations. So for example, it gets the listings of doctors from London, Cambridge and Yorkshire for which we have selected and likewise for uh, uh, plumbers and lawyers. So after you have inputted the keywords, you can fill any additional uh, data in the search form. You can uh, click combo box uh, or select radio buttons or select a list or draw drop down options and finally you click the search button to load the first search results page so click uh, the search button and wait for the listings for the first set of keywords to be loaded within the Harvey's browser now once uh, that is done you can start the configuration process by clicking start button in the home menu and the configuration process from here on is in the normal method there are no changes so i click the start button and now i select the required data so let's select the name of the listing and let's also select uh, what they do like for example let's click on this tag here let's select more content to get some additional tags if there are click capture text give it a name okay so if i go to configuration menu and click on the keywords i can see the keywords for which this configuration is uh, being done so in the first keyword list there is the search terms and in the second keyword list there are these locations where from where we need to get data now you can edit this these lists you can delete or add more keywords in any of these lists and click the save button if required 
Now for now, we're not changing anything. So we have selected uh, the required data. You can also follow these links if required. You can also scroll down the page and set the pagination link. In this example, let's keep it simple. Let's stop the configuration process and start mining by clicking the start mine button. And one more thing, if you go to WebRV settings and if you go to category keyword tab of WebRV settings, there is actually an option called tag with the category keyword. And here you can, if you turn this option on, WebRV will add an additional column in the finally mined data table filled with the keyword for which the data is scrapped. So let's add a new column with the name keyword and apply and start mine. Click the start button in the miner window to start the mining process. Now WebRV is getting uh, the data for all the combination of keywords and the results will start to appear in the miner window here. So it's getting uh, listings for plumbers in London and likewise it will proceed for plumbers in Cambridge and Yorkshire and then it will proceed to doctors in all these locations followed by lawyers. So I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, you can contact or support. The link is in the description below and I'll see you in the next one.